Okay, this is Nico Horner on a breaking ball. But as we watch what he does, see how he's going to create the pinch in his back hip. Wow. Then he's going to maintain that hip load as he gets off his backside, toe into the ground, and notice nothing has moved forward up top. Look at his bat. See how his bat's slightly going back? And then it's going to be as his heel comes down. See how nothing has come forward yet? As his heel comes down, nothing has come forward yet. His back elbow is going to lead the way. And he's able to stay back on that breaking ball and still get length through it. Here's some rando from the Royals. See how he's going to load his back hip. His back leg's in control of his stride. See how his hands are going back slightly? At toe touch, nothing has gone forward. Look how he's stacked up. Look how his top hand's a fist away from his back shoulder. Look how the angle of his bat is at 45 degrees. Now as his heel comes down, you can see his back elbow leads. Heel comes down, back elbow leads. And he's able to get long through. Again, Sink into back hip load. Back leg controls his stride. Nothing forward to toe touch. Look at how he's stacked up. Look at how much his front elbow is behind his belly button. Heel down, engages his lower half. You can see how his back elbow leads and he stays connected. Top hand right by his back shoulder and along through. All right, here's some guy for the Dodgers. This is where the film cuts in. You can see his back hip is getting loaded. See how he goes level, maintaining his hip load. Look at how his hands are going back. And at toe touch, see how he's stacked up. Look at the angle of his bat at a 45-degree angle. See how his top hand's a fist away from his back shoulder. As he gets into immediate preparation, it heel down. See how nothing is still moved forward with his top half. Now look at the great stretch he's creating between his lower half and upper half. His back elbow leads, and he's able to pull straight to it on this breaking ball. He's fooled. His knee is still bent, but it firms out, and he's able to get long through. Again, this is a breaking ball hit for a home run. Back hips loaded. Stays loaded, nothing forward to toe strike. Now as he gets heeled down, he's able to stay back on the breaking ball because he hasn't moved his hands forward. Look at the stretch between lower half and upper half. See how he stays connected. Top hand right alongside his back shoulder, how the back elbow leads. Home run, even ugly on a breaking ball. Here's Reynolds for the Pirates taking no stride, but you can see... As he's got his toe tap, now watch as he shifts his weight forward, but level. Nothing comes forward at heel down. Look at the back elbow lead. Look how his hands are on top of his back elbow. Look how he's staying connected. Slides his weight forward, gets his weight off of his backside. His knee hasn't come in yet. Now as it starts to come in, see how he's still connected, connected, connected. And he's able to go straight to the ball and along through. I use this with some guys. Here's some random devil ray. Look at how he sinks into back hip load. He's going to maintain that hip load as he goes level into the ground. Toe touch. Talk to a lot of guys about how it's hard to just hang in the air with your hands. See how he's going back. Toe touch. Top hand's a fist away from his back shoulder. Hasn't started to turn anything with his lower half yet until his heel comes into the ground. Now we get to that immediate preparation. And as we get to that immediate preparation, see how his hands stay connected. Look at his back elbow lead. And long through. Here's Ian. You can see how he's going to negative movement. Look at him pinch his back hip. Look at him pinch his back hip and load his back hip. To toe touch, nothing has come forward yet. This is the upper decker at Yankee Stadium. 
Now as he gets his heel down, see how his back elbow leads? See how his back elbow leads and he creates that stretch between upper half and lower half and gets long through. Back hip, sorry. Back hip load, negative into back hip load. Toe touch, nothing forward. Immediate preparation. Look at the back elbow lead. As he's able to pull straight. Here's some dude from the Red Sox. Look at how his back hip is loaded as he goes forward. To toe touch, nothing has come forward at all. Still going back with his hands. Immediate preparation. See how his heel comes into the ground. And he does a great job. Look at that back elbow lead as he stays connected and gets long through. He sets himself up real well. Back leg in control of his stride. Toe down. Nothing has come forward yet. Heel strike. He gets into immediate preparation. Look at the back elbow leading there. Stays connected and long through. Here's a great one of the Dodgers where you can see his back elbow work independent of his hands. Look at the insane hip load that he has right there. That's ridiculous. He sat into his back hip load. Look how level he is. And look, it looks like he's just reaching with his front foot. But now look how he gets off of his backside at the end. Toe touch, nothing has gone forward. Toe touch, nothing has gone forward. Now immediate preparation. Watch his back elbow as his heel slams into the ground. See how his back elbow leads? Hip load, toe touch, nothing has gone forward. Front heel into the ground. Look at the back elbow lead. Look at the stretch he's created. Now his hands come out and he stays connected. Look how his top hand stays right alongside of his back shoulder. All right, here's a guy for the Diamondbacks that does something a little bit different. Look at that insane hip load right there. Maintains it, nothing forward as he gets to toe touch. Now you can see he's got a lot of space between his top hand and his back shoulder, but look at how he's going to pull right out of the slot as he gets to immediate preparation. Look, heel down. See how the back elbow is led? Heel down, back elbow leads. Look how tight he is to his back shoulder. Tight he is to his back shoulder. Straight to that high fastball and long through. So he starts a little unconventionally in that he's got a lot of space in there. But as his heel comes down, he's able to pull right through and get to extension. This one's kind of percy, but it proves a point. He's hanging back. His hip's loaded, though. He's not into his leg. See how he stays level? He gets to toe strike there. Nothing has come forward. Now, it's a tough breaking ball, but because he hasn't moved anything forward, he gets to heel down. Look, nothing has still come forward. Heel down, nothing has come forward. He's able to keep his hands back and even fold. Still get a... Okay, here's a single by Ian up the middle. Back hip loaded. Nothing forward to toe touch. Now watch as his heel comes down. See how he's creating the stretch? Heel comes down, he engages his lower half before his hands. That's why he's able to stay back on this breaking ball and get that extension through. Again, back hip loaded, nothing forward to toe touch. As his heel comes down, look at him engage his lower half before his hands come forward, and he's able to stay back and look at the back elbow lead. Stays connected, gets a hit on a breaking ball. Here's a phenomenal one of some random royal. Rocks into hip load. See how he's into his back hip, not into his back leg. Maintains that hip load. At toe touch, nothing has come forward at all. Now as his heel gets into the ground, you can see how he's engaging his lower half from toe to heel at immediate preparation before his hands come forward. His back elbow's leading the way. He's able to stay connected and get long through. Again, See how he's getting into his back hip? 
not into his back leg. Back hip, not back leg. Toe touch, nothing forward. See how his bat's on a 45 degree angle. Immediate preparation, heel down. Back knee starts to come in. See how his hands are still back. See how his hips haven't come out and everything is going to the ball. Here's Mookie Betts doing something we're not able to do, but it still illustrates a point. Back hip loaded. Look how his hands go back. See how his hands go back. See how his hands go back. I know we load our hips and not our hands, but it's tough to hang there with your hands. He goes back. Now, here's what we can't do. Toe, heel, look at that amazing stretch. I'll just roll my finger that he's able to generate between his upper half and lower half. All that movement with his lower half and his hands are still back and see how his elbow leads and he stays connected straight to the ball and long through. But I like this because it shows it's hard to hang with your hands still. He's going back to toe strike. And then why is he so little and hits it so far? Because he's able to go toe heel and generate that ridiculous stretch there. Here's a phenomenal one with some lefty for the devil rays. You can see how his back hip is loaded. Look at how his hands fall back into the slot. It's hard to keep your hands still. Look at where he is at toe strike. See how his body is stacked up. See how his back knee hasn't started to come in. He hasn't started to rotate out with his hips. His top hand's a fist away from his back shoulder. His bat's on a 45-degree angle. Now as he gets to immediate preparation with his heel down, see how his back elbow leads. His hands stay connected. And he's out in front of a breaking ball but able to get a hit. Back hip loaded. See how his hands go back. At toe touch, look at the angle of his bat. Top hand a fist away from his back shoulder and then the immediate preparation. Heel down, back elbow leads. He's creating the stretch between upper half and lower half. Stays connected long through. Here's an absolutely phenomenal one of somebody from the A's. Look at him sitting to hip load. Look at him sitting to hip load. Look at him sitting to hip load. Back hip, not back leg. Back hip, not back leg. Back hip, not back leg. To toe strike. See how his hands go slightly back. See how his hands are going slightly back. We load our back hip, not our hands, but it's hard to keep your hands still and not go forward. Back hip load. Toe strike there. Look at how he's stacked up. Look at the angle of his bat. Now immediate preparation. Heel down. Look at him engage his lower half. Toe to heel. Engages his lower half before his hands come forward. Now he's able to get back elbow lead. Look at the insane stretch that he's generated there. Look at how his hands stay connected to his back shoulder and long through on that high pitch. Really good one, really easy moves to do. Sit in the back hip load. Maintain that back hip load to toe strike. Look at where he is at toe strike. Immediate preparation. Heel down, gauges, engages his lower half. Hands are still back. Back elbow lead, stays connected. Hands right along his shoulder, not behind. And straight to it and long. Here's some guy from the Astros. This is another easy move. See how he gets his back hip loaded. Back hip loaded. See how his hands go slightly back because it's hard to just stay still. Toe strike there. See where he is at toe strike. Immediate preparation. This is a great one to show. As he's going toe heel, watch his back elbow. Lead his hands. Look how he stays connected. His top hand's right alongside of his back shoulder. He's not creating any space. He's stacked up. See how his elbow's down and long through. 